Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the bunker. And tonight, me and Jen are going to go out and do a few things. And I'm going to take you guys along with us. But I wanted to chat here in the bunker for a moment uh, before we begin uh, today's adventure. Um, I did want to comment with you guys about, uh, I want to thank you for all the feedback um, you have given about the new camera, about the Pocket 3. We've switched from the G7X Mark II to the Pocket 3. Um, I've gotten so much helpful feedback, both, both uh, you know, positive. You know, it seems like the majority of you, the vast majority of you, do like the new camera, do like the new setup, and um, do like, you know, do want me to stick with the Pocket 3. And I think, I think I'm going to. Um, but there has been some very useful, um, constructive criticism as well. Now, the number one thing that I'm, I'm getting from you guys is you don't want me to look at the screen, that it's very distracting. And it, it, it's, it's, it's difficult. I'm looking at the screen right now. Now, I'm looking right dead in the eye of the gimbal. This is a hard habit to break. You know, I'm used to this camera. The screen's right there. I look in the screen, and it looks right like I am, uh, like I'm, like I am looking straight into the lens. Um, this is it for whatever reason. I guess it's the wider angle or whatever. It, it looks. If I look at the screen, it looks like I'm looking at the screen. It doesn't look like I'm looking at you. So I am trying. I have been trying, and not not been perfect. So I'm still been getting some complaints that it doesn't look like I'm looking at you guys. Um, I'm trying to figure out best way to best way to do this. But I think in the end, it's just going to take time. It's just going to take time getting used to this camera, getting used to looking above the very distracting screen and in to the, uh, the gimbal there. I'll, I think, well, I think it'll get better just naturally when I get more comfortable with the equipment. I'm still figuring out the equipment. I'm still getting comfortable. I understand how it all works, but I'm still getting comfortable with it, figuring out which settings work best for me. Um, the other criticism was uh, some of the wind noise was not as good as well as some sound issues that it was qu too quiet in certain spots. And um, with the G7X, I have this little like, you just kind of stick on this little little fuzz here over the microphone and that helps a lot. On this camera, that's not practical because the screen closes and it would, it, it, it there's not room for it. There's not room to put something on there like that. So, I'm going to try to utilize this Bluetooth mic, mic Bluetooth mic I've got uh, connected to my collar. Um, it's a little clunky, and um, I do like, I kind of like, traditionally kind of like to minimize the amount of equipment I use. I figure that my theory is the more equipment you use, the more chance there is for stuff to go wrong. But I'm going to try out this microphone. It's kind of awkward how it like clips to my t-shirt there. I'm trying to find, I think like right here in the corner, sideways a little bit, is, uh, is a little more comfortable. Of course, I'll have to review this footage to see if it is clear, see if it sounds good. Um, but a lot of people were encouraging me to use the Bluetooth mic. I was kind of uh, not wanting to use it. Um, it seems in a lot of situations, the onboard microphone works good, but in other situations, um, not so much. It may just get to a, be a point where I have to learn how loud I need to talk, you know, what part of the camera I need to uh, talk into. Uh, again, when I, I remember, because I'm remembering back, is I had frustrations with the Pocket 3. I remember back when I started using the G7X, which is what I'm most comfortable using. I didn't like this camera at first. I thought it was awkward. I thought the way I use it was awkward. The little quirks bothered me. So I think it's just a matter of getting used to the equipment. When it does seem overall, um, there's been a very positive response to this. Um, I'm not going to be able to do the 4K because um, when I load it onto my computer, load it into my editor, Movavi, it just doesn't, it freezes up the, the editor. It doesn't work. Um, I think this would probably require me to get a better computer. Um, I do have to use a laptop because I travel. So maybe at some point um, I will buy a better laptop. But at this point, I just don't have, I don't think I don't have, I, I, just, I, I can't justify buying a new laptop just for that. So maybe 4K is something we can look at in the future, but right now it's kind of dead in the water. And I hope you guys understand. I think it's, I got it at 1080p. Um, it should be pretty clear. Um, so a lot of people have said it's clear. I know a lot of people love that sweet, sweet 4K. Personally, I don't 
know the difference. I can't tell the difference between a 4K video and a 1080p video. So uh, that's just going to have to hold off for now. Um, I said tonight me and Jen are going, going out and doing some things. I'm taking you guys along with. Um, but tomorrow I am headed out. Uh, I'm going to take a few days to get up to my beginning point. And then we are going to go on a great adventure. One thing I haven't done on this channel in a long time is to do like a road, like a, a classic road. Like I did Route 66. I've done the Lincoln Highway. I've done the Dixie Highway. I wanted to do something like that again. And I'm going to be doing a road that I have not done before. Not as, a, as, an, as an entire entity. And I'm really excited about this trip. And I hope you guys... Um, I hope you guys will enjoy it as well, because that's, uh, that's coming up. Uh, other news. It is time, time again, to break out the Cronus. For those of you not familiar, um, Universal Studios, Florida, were generous enough to send me this giant metal Cronus, which is the gate to the new Epic Universe theme park. Um, so they gave me a replica. And they have been sending me these medallions to put in the Cronus here. So they sent me another medallion. And each one of these medallions represents another world in the Epic Universe. And look at that. We have the, I mean, if you guys can see that, that is the mushroom. The mushroom from Super Nintendo World. Which I'm super excited about this because um, I actually got, I had the honor of attending the, uh, the, the media day, the opening of Super Nintendo World in California. So I'm excited that it's coming to Florida as well. I really loved it and just the pure immersion. Um, it was just like being in a video game, being in an 8-bit classic video game, being in an old Mario game. It's that immersion. And I really love the Universal is leaning towards that immersion, um, just kind of getting into that, that fully... The, 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 the environment that fully immerses you. Epic Universe is very exciting because it looks like that's what they're doing in all the different lands. So the, the theme park should be beautiful. Um, this is going to be a little bigger than the Florida version. They have very exciting... They're going to have a Donkey Kong land, which actually includes a roller coaster that, like, jumps over holes in the track. So I'm very excited about that. Let's add it here to the Cronus. If I remember how it works here, let me gotta spin that. you got to spin that. And then you take, you take the plate off here. There we go. So we drop the medallion in the Cronus. And there we go. We got two more medallions to go. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, we'll, get a, we'll get a peek pretty quick when uh, Epic Universe opens up. Very excited to get out there and, uh, and see that. Maybe we spend a little more time in Florida once Epic Universe opens up. So let's see. I think I've covered everything. We're headed out tomorrow. The road trip doesn't begin tomorrow, but I'm headed up to the starting point of the road trip. It'll take a few days to get up there and um, I'll give you more information as we get closer, but I'm really excited about this. Uh, but now me and Jen are going to head out and, uh, and do some fun things and I'd like you guys to come along with. So please, as I look right dead down into that gimbal, please follow me. And we have traveled over here to Asheville, North Carolina, here at the House of Black Cat Magic. They actually have a cat cafe here with only black cats. So I figured we'd uh, stop by and hang out with the cats. We have tarot readings here as well. You can actually get them for humans or cats. For Cammy. Yeah, maybe we could take Cammy and Scarlet here to get a reading. Yeah, and here we have different cat and uh, witch themed items. Got your. Uh, Tarot cards there. Little cat statues. <laughs> Over there, all the candles and cats. And I spotted Kevin the vampire cat there. That is from uh, Harold Sims, who runs the uh, 
American Museum of the House Cat over near Silva, North Carolina. A little kitty altar here. That's the cat skull right there. A little cat paw as well. And here are some of the uh, cats we'll be meeting here in the lounge. All right, going in to the lounge. Well, here is the adoptions they've done. Looks like they do quite a few adoptions here through the lounge. Oh my goodness, look at all these black cats right here. <laughs> Are you guys sleepy? I was gonna say, my energy is much different than that. Hey, kitty. Are you all sleepy? This one looks like Olsen. Which is the one she said not to pet? <laughs> she said there was a medium cat with like medium fur. Friendly. Oh, kitty. This one, do you like belly pets? Oh, there we go. This one's nice. Oh. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a black tortie here. That one's like Scarlet. A little bit. Snuggly? Yeah. Last time we went to a cat cafe, I had to leave because my allergies were bad. So uh -oh. I made sure. So how, to, are your, how are your allergies? I made sure to take allergy pills before. Oh, you took allergy pills so beforehand. I'm good today. Good. <laughs> good prepared. Oh, it's a lazy, it's a lazy cat afternoon in here. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. This is the one that. Whoa. We're, we're cool. We don't, you know, we can just hang out. We don't need to be petting each other or anything like that. <laughs> oh, look, there's one just like passed out on the floor there. Look, he's in the rainbow. He's sunbathing. Hi. I like your Tommy. Oh, no. <laughs> Tommy, 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 Tommy. Head, 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 head. I found another one over here. Hey there, little tiny cat. Oh, hey there. It's, the na it's nap time, apparently. Oh, little kitty. Oh, you scooped him up there. I did. Hey, little guy. Or girl, I'm not sure. This is my new friend. Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> I must fight everything not to take this kitty home. Oh no! I'm like, oh no! And look at this, if you want to adopt one of these cats, you just scan the QR code here, and you gotta put in your vet, your references. This is application process, takes about 24 to 48 hours. I don't know, should we adopt one? <laughs> hey there! Play with his little bean toes. Oh, these two are the very bonded pair with each other, meaning that they love each other. They love hanging out. Oh, this one's friendly. Hey, buddy. Now they said that the feral cat over there does uh, doesn't like to be touched, but does like to play with toys. I figure I'd grab a cat toy and we'll take it. Toy. We'll take it over there and see. Take this octopus over there and see if she wants to play with the octopus. That's a pretty fun octopus. Is she playing? No. I don't think she's in the mood to play. Yeah, she doesn't want to play. This guy. Went to lay in his little green hammock. You like your green hammock? All right, so the kitties are getting a little more, starting to get up and move around a little bit. Hey there. You said that she's 12 years old. That's giant scarlet. <laughs> hey there. Hey there. 
there. Hey. What are you doing down there, little guy? Yeah, definitely something comforting about being surrounded by cats. What are you guys doing? Just all hanging out together? Are you eating a bug? Yeah, I've heard before that black cats are the hardest to adopt, I guess because of superstition. People uh, don't want them, so it's good that there's an organization that's trying to uh, really push the adoption of, uh, of black cats. See if these guys want to play with the string. Hey! Not string fans? She got the, got it hanging on to the toy there. Yes. She won't let go. Oh, I got it. Ah. Oh no. Ah. Get it, kitty. Oh, you won again. Hey there. You having fun? You having fun? Oh, I got it. Let go. Let go. You guys just looking out the window. A nice day out there. Stopped over here, found this uh, abandoned bait shop. See the sign there, live bait and archery. Although it looks like this place has been closed for some time now. I love this old uh, vending machine here. The worm vending machine. I remember the first time I saw one of these, I was completely befuddled. And I moved down to the south and I saw the Coke, Pepsi, and live bait machines all lined up. I'm assuming there's no live bait living in this machine, but you can see there, premium Night crawlers for 275, or you get some red worms there for uh, 350. Just plunk in your money, and uh, the worms will drop out. I've got a nice. Uh, I think that's a salmon there on the side of the bait shop. I guess they specialize in archery and fishing. It looks like they still have some uh, some boxes of kitty litter there in the window. I don't know why they would sell kitty litter. I don't know if we can take a peek in the window there. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like mostly empty. I think, oh yeah, there's a big fish there still hanging on the wall. And we have arrived here at the Asheville Nature Center for tonight they're having an event called Brews and Bears. Okay, so the event here, it's after hours. The Nature Center is kind of like the local zoo here in Asheville, and they're having a special event. You come late, they're serving alcohol, and you can apparently watch the bears eat popsicles. That's the greatest day ever. We're gonna say, yeah, so we, we stopped, petted some cats, and now some black cats, and now we're gonna. Pet the bears? We saw some black cats, and we're gonna see some black bears. To pet? No, they'll rip you apart. But uh, they're apparently they're gonna eat a popsicle. That's what I hear. I don't want to pet them. No. Can, maybe I could like pet a little one. No, Jen. I mean, the cats kind of see, like Jen clawed just, at just, me too. She's from New York. She doesn't realize you can't <laughs> you can't pet dangerous wild animals. Oh, they look cute. Oh yeah, a lot of dangerous things look cute. Yeah. Oh look, here's a a vending machine for Jen here. It's a vending machine packed with plush animals. Now you can buy a little bear there. Yeah, you can buy from the stuffed animal vending machine? Yeah. Can I pet them? Uh, you can pretend to pet them through the glass. It's very enjoyable. <laughs> what about these guys? Can I pet them? What are these goats? Yeah. Hey, old goat. What are you doing? Very fluffy and cute. Hey, donkey. There's a little donkey there. Looks like he's wearing leg warmers. 
So the guy just made an announcement there's going to be an event occurring here at the Black Bear Bridge. It's a walkway here overlooking the Black Bears. Oh, look at that. He's got his got his popsicle there. You see him gnawing, gnawing on the popsicle. Hey, bear. Thought he was going to have like a popsicle on a stick and hold it with his little bear paw. You didn't think that. That was what I was hoping for. <laughs> that was what my dream well, was. Well, Jen, you were telling heard. me you wanted to see a bear since you moved here. Yeah, but I want to see one in the yard. I, it's much safer to have a uh, here. <laughs> In a, in a big pad. I'm just happy this one doesn't have a tire around its abdomen like it Ripley's. These are the bears I've been seeing. The frying pan bear, the tire ring bear, <laughs> and then the gated zoo bear. I want to see the wild bear. I'm working my way up. Yeah, yeah, here you start. Do you like him? Yeah, he's really cute. I like his little ice block. I won't call it a popsicle. It's a popsicle. But, okay, it's a popsicle. <laughs> well, I wonder what flavor popsicle it is. I wonder if it's like salmon flavored. Wait, it's like kind of tinted. Do you think there may be like... Yeah, no, I think there's some sort of flavor in there for him. Oh, okay. Well, that's a he bit... He likes it. That's a bit more exciting. I've never seen so many people gathered around to watch a bear lick ice. <laughs> oh, he's happy that the audience. Cool. Okay, it's very, very cool. Let's come over here a little closer. See if we can get a good view of that popsicle. Oh, it looks like there's actually, okay, it looks like there's a fish frozen. It's like a fish frozen in a block of ice. It's like a fish popsicle. Yeah, he's licking it. He loves the sweet taste of fish. <laughs> Look at that, he's using his, his big paws to manhandle that popsicle. This is the happiest bear I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can hear him like snapping and snarling. <laughs> Looks like he's gotten through and actually is gnawing on like the fish skin there. <laughs> he's like way down there. She like took her fish and she's like, I'm not standing out here. He's like way down there by the like, entrance to that gate where they were. Oh, it's a bear proof garbage can. It says, Are you smarter than a bear? See if you no. can successfully open the bear resistant. Uh, Come on, Jen, you can do it. Are you smarter than a bear? No. Let <laughs> me see. Apparently, I'm dumber than a bear, too. Pull up, pull up now. Here we go. Jen, I don't know if this was really a trash can. <laughs> the little baby taxidermy bears here. On the bear education table. Got some uh, some bear mace. I'm gonna keep some of that just to be safe. So here it says that uh, bears have a super nose. They can detect food from 10 miles away, meaning the bears in this enclosure can smell every restaurant in Asheville. Now, once upon a time, I worked at a summer camp and we took the kids here on a field trip and we were walking on this pathway right here and bees came up and stung every single child. It was a horrifying nightmare. There what were did just you do? Children left, like shrieking. Do you know how a kid acts when they get stung with a bee, by a bee? Like, I mean, probably not. Unreasonable. Like, yeah. Yeah, it was like 20 kids. Did you get stung by bees too? No, I didn't get stung. Just no. all the just all the kids. So you just had to like make I think there sure was like, none of them like reacted poorly, like Well they're all no, and... I mean they're all well we knew. We knew already you, oh, have, okay. you have documented which kids are allergic and none of them were allergic. No, but good. they were all freaked out. I mean I would be. I would probably be just like that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh Jen, look, there's a real garbage can. Okay, I'll put it in this one. Considering I was putting it with all their gear and stuff. Yeah, you like threw it gar you like opened up the bear proof garbage can, you threw your garbage in there, and there's like a bunch of like camping gear in there. I mean I just thought they were disposing of it. I don't know. Like they could throw away camping gear if you want. Who am I to judge? So I was like bloop and I'm like Jacob's like, it's not a garbage can. Like, it was just for funsies. It's just so you could see if you could open it. Oh. Well I could, and then I threw it away and I was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I guess we can just wander around and uh, enjoy the nature center. 
Back here is where they store their red animals. We have red wolves and red pandas. We'll see if any of them are, uh, are out right now. It's a little bobcat up there. Just... And there are some sleepy, sleepy cougars. Oh, you can see the wolf up there, relaxing on a rock. And over here we have the arachnid adventure. Are you gonna climb like Spider-Man? Like Spider-Man? Yeah. Um, I guess. I'm excited for this. <laughs> You've already reached the top. Look at you. Spider. <laughs> now there's the down part. Oh my god. Down part. This may be a rescue mission. Get turned around. I don't know if Crocs are the best for scaling. <laughs> That's what Spider-Man wears. Oh my god. I think that's Think if I, I, I got it, I got it. Okay. Think if I jumped though, I think that would be knee busting. So. Yeah, I don't I don't think you should jump. Yay! Here we go. You made it. You're a spider. I'm a spider now? Yes. Okay, so over here, they have uh, a red panda exhibit. Now, I was really shocked when I found they had a red panda now because it used to be they only had local animals here. And then I saw this over here in the woods. This is Bristol's panda. This is an extinct species of panda. And I guess the explanation of why there's red pandas here, given that they're not local, is that there apparently were Bristol pandas here, relative of the red panda, at the, uh, this is the gray fossil site, which I visited on this channel before. Um, it's an active, uh, active site where they are digging, uh, digging up different animals. And apparently they dug up a uh, species of panda. So, wow, an Appalachian panda. Alright, let's peek in here and see if we can see the panda. Okay, I do think I see. Oh, yeah, you can see him back there. Looks like he's eating out of the trash. Is he a trash panda? <laughs> yeah, it's like rock. Yeah, oh, that's it. See the little, uh, little panda there eating out of his bucket. Alright, look at this. We have a puppet theater. Jen, are you going to put on a puppet show? Oh, yeah. I am all about puppet shows. Alright, alright. Jen's gonna put on a puppet show for us. Is there is there puppets in there? Is there puppets in there? Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Bear. What are you? I was eating a popsicle. Are you finishing your popsicle? I am. It was fishy licious. Fishy licious. Yeah. Do you have any other friends in there? I do. What? I have to find them. We're working on this. You're working on it? Your friends are... It's kind of hard to get a puppet on your hand if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Oh, your friend's a goat. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> bear. No, bear. Don't eat your friend the goat. <laughs> Jen, this is too violent puppet for you. Theater with Jen. Oh, my God. So this is Appalachian Station here. Appalachian Station, if you want to pronounce it incorrectly. <laughs> so Okay, so I think there's some smaller animals in here. Alright, let's see what's here in Appalachian Station. There's a little mud turtle down here. Just a little nose poked out of the water. Another little turtle down there, hanging out in the rock. This is a blue cystic black rat snake. It's different than albino animals because they have uh, got black eyes. Oh yeah, you can see his head poking out there. You see his eyes? They're black, like a doll's eyes. A little corn snake there. I wonder if corn snakes like to eat corn. They like the band corn. Do they? Big fan of Jonathan David. Uh oh, it's getting a little windy out here. Some rain pouring through here momentarily. 
Oh, you see the otter? Oh, what's he doing? Well, otter is begging for his for his dinner here. Hey, little guy, what you doing? Are you hungry? Apparently, apparently he is a hungry otter. He's so cute. Stay away from the guillotine. No, no, no. A donation donation here. The red leaf of the red panda versus Obi Wan otter. What do they win? <laughs> Whoever's better. Oh, you're oh giving, they get more food. Okay. You're giving Obi Wan. Yeah, I saw the otter. I didn't see the panda. Plus, the otter's name is Obi Wan. So I mean. Yeah, you just gave him because he had a Star Wars. Yeah, there, didn't that's you? exactly. <laughs> so there's chickens here, and apparently you can name the chickens. It says put pen to paper. What clucky names can you come up with for our chirpy flock? Oh, and so you had uh, Cluckenstein, Clucky Bucky, Cluckernaut, like an astronaut, uh -huh. Chirpers, it said Chirpy on there, and Chicken Big Little. Those are great names, Jen. I know, I'm, I'm yeah, it's a shame I didn't have children to name. <laughs> I think you gotta put them in this tube here. Okay, do you think any of these will win? I think they'll all win. Oh, yes! I'm excited. I put a lot of names because there's a lot of chickens. And 2024 is, of course, the year of the pressed penny here on the Carpet Bagger channel. And I think we should get ourselves a Western North Carolina Nature Center penny. And because it is bear popsicle night, I think we should get a uh, pressed penny bear. There was only for today because coming soon. There we go. Beautiful, shiny bear penny. So thank you for joining us here at uh, Brews and Bears Night, Bears and Popsicle Night, whatever you, you want to call it. should have been called Bears and I Beers. I thought Beers and Bears would have been a better name, but maybe, who knows, maybe that's already copyrighted <laughs> by another zoo. So we've had a fun night. I love the Popsicle. At first I was like, I'm, I wish they had like a push-up pop and they held it in their little paw, but the fact they had a fish in it, like... It yeah. was so cute. He really wanted the fish. And he only really cared about the fish. He was trying to like dig the fish out of the he ice. Bit the whole thing. You could hear, you hear like jaw. yeah, you could hear the jaw. You could hear like the, the ice chomp. crunching down as he was trying to get to that fish. And the little otter. And the little otter. Yeah, the otter was getting ready for food, and he was trying to find the zookeeper. He was looking around. So cute, and he poked out of that little hole. Mm -hmm. and was like. <laughs> And then we gotta hang out with someone. Don't forget, we gotta hang out with a, a fine room of, of black cats. Oh yes. Earlier. Yes. No, that was really fun. I'm um, it took a lot to not come home with any cats. I don't think Cammy and Scarlet would be pleased. Yeah, I'm trying to be responsible. I'm I'm on the road so much. I don't you know trying yeah. to avoid getting any new pets at this at this point. But yeah. who knows? Maybe in the I future. I do want to take them for a reading though. Maybe they would tell us if they want a new sibling. Like, is the reading okay? So I don't know a lot about tarot. Is the reading like telling like their future or like can I you don't know. like I think I'm looking for more of like a fortune telling. Maybe. Fortune Well tarot what? tells tarot tarot tells the, the future, I believe. But will it tell me like why Scarlet and Cammy don't get along? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean I assume so. I've never been to an animal psychic okay. before. <laughs> I don't know. Leave a suggestion. Would you like to see Jen take the cats <laughs> no. to the uh, animal psychic? I really want to. It would be a train wreck, I think. Cammy about like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The cats might not be agreeable. Do they have to be there, or can you bring bring up? Can you bring their presents? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I would think they'd have to be there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, if you do like these videos, I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. I'm gonna be headed out tomorrow on another grand adventure. You can... Maybe Jen, maybe you put out some more videos on her channel, yes, Jenny hopefully. Penny. So yes. stay tuned for that. And uh, if you'd like to help the channel in other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more gives you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing uh, personalized messages on Cameo. I'm trying really hard to look into the gimbal and not look down here at the uh, screen. This whole time I was looking at the screen, but I have sunglasses. You have sunglasses. Very tiny eyes. You have so sunglasses, it so it doesn't, you can't tell. Uh, well, but I good. refuse to wear sunglasses. So I have to stare into the black void of the gimbal. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. Until next time, this one's in the bag. In the bear popsicle.